Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to be looking at three different buoys. We're going to look at this one which is the safe water mark, this one which is the isolated danger symbol, and also the emergency wreck marking buoy. So let's first off start with the safe water mark. As you can see from this picture here, the colour is red and white, vertical stripes, the shape it can be a buoy, a pillar or a spar, and the top mark is going to be a single red sphere. The light will be a white light, and the rhythm, there's four different options. It could be occulting, which means it's mainly on and there's flashes of it being off, isophase, which is an equal amount of time on and off, long flash every 10 seconds, or Morse Alpha. A safe water mark is used to indicate an area where there's safe water all the way around the mark. It could be used as a fairway buoy at the start of a channel or something. When you're approaching it, you can leave it any side, you'll still be in safe water. But for good seamanship, I'm going to alter to starboard and leave the buoy on my port side. This is so that I would navigate on the starboard side of a channel or fairway. Isolated danger marks. These are black and red horizontal stripes. They're a bit like a Dennis the Menace boy is an easy way to remember it. The shape, they can be a boy, a pillar or a spar. And their top mark is two black spheres arranged one above the other. The light is a white light, rhythm flashing two. You can remember this because there's two balls at the top, so it's group flashing two. In this diagram, we're approaching an isolated danger symbol. And this indicates that there's an underwater hazard or obstruction of a limited extent. We need to have a look at our chart and determine what sort of hazard it is. In this case, I'm going to alter my course to port and just avoid the mark. With isolated danger symbols, it's especially important to consider the chart because you need to find out what danger they are indicating. And then our final boy is going to be the emergency wreck marking boy. These are quite new. The colour is yellow and blue vertical stripes. There's a set number though. There are going to be a minimum four of them and a maximum of eight. There will always be the same number of yellow stripes as there is blue stripes. The shape, it could be a boy or a spar. The top mark is a yellow upright cross, a St Andrew's cross, as you can see in this picture. The light, it's quite distinctive. It's a yellow and a blue light. And the rhythm, it's again going to be very distinctive. It's blue for one second, off for half a second, yellow for one second, off for half a second. So there's a full cycle there of three seconds with the blue and yellow lights each on for one second. So the emergency wreck marking buoy actually marks a new hazard or obstruction that we haven't had time to put on proper navigational marks. There'll probably be notices to mariners about it or other local directions telling you what the wreck is and what the hazard is. You need to look for these to work out your actions. In this case, I'm just going to alter my course to port and stay well clear of the mark. If there's a wreck there, I don't know what's caused it. It's obviously a danger. I don't want to be anywhere near it. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully you found the information useful. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.